on. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? All right. Now, go ahead and take your nude and do a background. Take our nail and just paint it with nude. Make sure it's not bumpy, nice and flat. Go ahead and kill your nude, 60 seconds. And then when you take it out, place it on here. Are you guys already done? Tell me when you're not done. Good. Almost done. When you're done, go ahead and take your three colors and land it out. One line. Two line, kind of keep it well separate from each other's. Not too far, but about like this. Three line. Okay, another one, purple. Ooh, love this color, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. By Lee Chat. All oh, the sheer color that we use today will be sponsored by Lee Chat. Take it out. And then another color, Jolly Berry by Lee Chat. Take it out. It's just like a deeper pink, like a very pink. All right. Land it all out. And this is our three color sponsored by Lee Jet. And then when you have all three land land out, you're gonna go ahead and take Mitsu Pro Gel Paint. And what I want you to do is put uh, in between, but not, don't, don't just put one line here and then one line here and one line here. Don't, don't do that. You gotta give them a little space. You gotta put a white line here and maybe like a, maybe another white line three color down to give this color a chance to go here with each other's. White line here and a white line here. All right. And this is by Mitsu Gel Art Pro Gel. Tell me when you're not ready. Everybody ready? Okay. Take your time. For the rest of you, um, <clears throat> go ahead and take out your gel top, non-cleanse, <clears throat> and just uh, paint a light surface over the nail, just gel top. Just a thin coat. Today when we pick up marble, we're gonna use um, gel brush by Lee Chat. And this right here, this little head right here, is what we're gonna use to pick it up. So take out your brush too. Everybody done? Everybody ready? Okay. So today we're gonna replicate this, but in different colors. 
we're gonna do one swoop of marble right here and then we're gonna coat it with chrome line on the side like a little uh, um, geostone okay so do you guys already take your top coat and uh, apply a thin coat over it okay anybody not ready just light thin coat light and thin light and thin you don't need much if you have a lot just go ahead and clean your brush and then take it up just take it up just light I want it to be thin and light because we're gonna drip marble over this so you don't want too much top coat it's light and thin just take it up take it up if it's too much okay anybody anybody not ready perfect yeah okay now we're gonna start to pick up marble So you take your brush, place it on gently, and you run, run to the red, run to the purple, run to the pink, maybe a little more white. Just watch, watch your paint. Are you happy with it? If it drip, roll it. You see this marble right here? Now all you do is glide over this, place it on, and glide it. Be gentle, be slow. Watch your marble and see how it's go. Be very slow. Don't go really fast. Just be slow to it and be light, very light. Okay, now, uh, before I play with this, maybe add a little more. I need a little more purple down here. So go in with purple. Go in with purple, go in with pink, go in with white. Ooh, maybe a little more pink okay now you see my marble right here see this roll it if it dripping go ahead and place it over here see I want more purple so I rolled it into the side of the half purple and then I can drag it down just a little bit ooh I need I need more white down here so I go ahead and pick up some white. And then maybe some pink. Go ahead and place it down here just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Now, up here I want a little more colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some multicolor. White, red, purple pink or white okay now I got a lot of color right here okay let's go ahead and drop it right here load it going up stop now when I'm done with this I'm gonna start playing with the marble maybe I want my white to be lower down here a little bit maybe the Y up here a little bit just guide it lightly okay. and guy make sure that you don't just dab your hand into it make sure you don't just dab 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 just be light and gentle you don't want to mix these color together you want to keep them well separated so just touch it lightly and guide it look at my white down here look at my white down here I want it to be a little bit up here, so I just touch it lightly. And I just kind of run up lightly, nice and light. Maybe blend this pink right here down a little bit. Down, 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 down. Guide, guide the marble, play with it. Now, up here, see, you see this right here? It's kind of like, oh, that's, that's, that's a missing spot right here. So maybe I, I take a little uh, white and maybe I blend this together. See this? Nice and gentle. 
Make a big swoop. Make a big swoop. Like this right here. Mm, I think I need a little more purple down here. So go ahead and put on your purples. And then maybe some white. Mm, maybe a little pink. Okay. And then kind of drop it right here. Just a little. And then kind of blend it out. Blend it out, but lightly. Lightly. Okay. Now, when you're happy with this, when you're happy with your colors, you don't see anywhere that you don't like, like maybe right here, I need a little more, and then done. Now, when you're happy with this, you go ahead and you check the, um, the side, sometimes when you put your marble too thick, it makes the side look bumpy. So you go ahead and you take your finger and you can just cleanse it, wipe it down, wipe it down, cleanse it. Make sure that the side is nice and sharp, nice and sharp, nothing bumpy, okay? Okay, happy with it, hit it for 60 seconds. And this is a brush that's sponsored by Lee Chat. I love it too. It's my personal favorite. And we have so many. We have three. We have all three with different size and shape. It's wonderful, guys. All right. Is anybody catch up? Anybody not ready? Is everybody doing what they're supposed to? It's settling. It's, it's, it's settling? Okay. It's clearing? Okay. Good, 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 good. Is anybody falling behind? Anyone? Anyone? Good, good. Yay! Good. All right. Now, when it's done curing, what I want to do is that I want to do a chrome line right here in the edge, right here in the edge, okay? And what I want to do is that I want to make sure that the chrome only gonna land on those lines. I don't want it land anywhere else. So what I have to do is that I'm gonna go ahead and seal all this that I just made. I'm gonna seal all this with Cuba gel top, okay? Gonna make sure that I sealed it to protect what I just made. And then I'm gonna go ahead and buff it. So it's gonna be chrome free. So go ahead and take your Cuba gel top out. We're done with this. So we get rid of this. Take the Cuba gel top out and go ahead and Coat a nice thin coat over this. Over uh, Go ahead and coat this. Coat the whole things. And clean up the side just a little bit. Clean up the side. You don't want it to be fat and out of shape. You want it to be nice and sharp. Go ahead and clean it. Here's it for 60 seconds. Is everybody catching up? It's every day catching it up. Okay, good, good, good. Now, while you're waiting for this to cure, I want to make sure that you have Lee Chat Fun Brush out. Make sure you have that out. So get that out if you don't have it. Get that out. See in the, the end. Make sure you have that out. Yes, yes. All right, when you have that out, just remember that sometimes when you do marble, if it's a little bit too bulky, right, you, you want to apply another coat on it to make sure that it's nice and flat. Because if it's not nice and flat and if it's bulky right here, when I buff this, 
I might destroy some of the marble. So I want to make sure that when I buff this, nothing gets destroyed. So I'm going to go ahead and apply another coat, a uh, top coat by Cuba on, just to ensure. Because you do all that hard work, you don't want to destroy that. Hey, more shiny. Okay, coat it on. Lean on the edge. Make sure it's nice and sharp. And do a second kill, 60 seconds. Most definitely, most definitely. Because all you want is to seal it. It doesn't matter. Just ensure that the last layer is a top because you're gonna buff it. So you don't want it to be sticky. So yes, you can put a base first and then go ahead and put a top on top. Good. Because I know you know the base normally is thicker than the top. Oh, even better. Yes, yes. Yay! Yay! They're learning something. Perfect. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Okay. You don't have buffer? I have a buffer. Uh, let's share buffer. Uh, yeah, and you have buffer? Yes. That we have buffer for everyone. Ah, uh, little scissor right here, right here. Uh, oh, ah, uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. That's fine, but be careful when you buff. It's really strong. That, that type of buffer is really strong. Just be careful when you buff. You don't want to ruin it. Let's share, guys. Let's share. Uh, honey, can you give me the classroom? Everybody, we are live on Facebook, the Nature Show. Say hi! Hi, hi everybody! Hi! <laughs> Do you guys have a good time here? Yeah. This is our second day. <laughs> we want more. We want more. <laughs> it's never enough. It's the sky is the limit. That's so much more to teach. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we have so much time yesterday. Okay. All right. <laughs> Everybody have a uh, two coat right? Go ahead and buff it lightly. Be careful. When you land on the marble, be careful. Don't ruin it, okay? Make sure that you buff completely. Take out all the shine. Take out all the shine. And, and if you want, you can have one finger down here, just, just to make sure that it's stable, okay? Take out all the shine. Go ahead and buff it out lightly, but surely. Long stroke. So stroke in the crook right here. Make sure that there's no shine on it. You don't want the chrome to stick on it. Make sure that it's chrome free. What about the shine? Okay. And you know, if you um, if you feel insecure with yourself, if you if if, if you want to know, oh why, what, what um, is there any shine left? I couldn't see, I couldn't see. So just go ahead and take out your chrome and then apply on it to see if there anything stick. Uh, the chrome that we be using today is bronze chrome by Daily John. It's my personal favorite. It's not gold. It's not silver. It's just in between. I love this chrome. Look at it. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, I love that company. It's so girly. Mm -hmm. Oh, so much fun stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna just rub it on just a little bit to see if there's anything that stick. You don't want any chrome that stick because you're gonna do a, you, you're going to do a design. You want the chrome to stick only on that design. So go ahead and just do a, a, a test on it to see if there anything stick. Uh, take, take a, a what? Oh, oh, yeah, that's a tape. Oh be careful. You don't want to ruin all that goody. Be careful when you open it. Yes, be careful. This can actually last you all year long. Oh my god, guy. It will last you forever. <laughs> Is this like the uh, loose color red matte? No, no. It's a high quality pigment that designed for just chrome effect. It makes sure that all the uh, um, flake and glitter in it land perfectly uh, beside each other to create a perfect mirror. Nope, it's not matte pigment at all. It's 
it's more than that. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm gonna buff it. Okay, I'm gonna buff it. I'm gonna see any chrome stick on. Is there any chrome right here? Any chrome right here? Okay. Okay, right here I see a little, just a tiny bit right here. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take my buffer and I just buff that spot. Buff the chrome away. Buff it away. <laughs> yeah. Make sure that it's chrome free. No chrome at all. I don't want chrome on this. Okay. And then does it, does it make sure all the uh, shimmer go away. Make sure it's dust free. And let me know if you're not ready, if you're not catching up. Is anybody ready? Uh, anybody not ready? Okay, okay, go ahead. You have time, take your time, take your time. Just two people buffing, go ahead. Make sure that it's chrome free. Make sure that it's no shine on it. And for anybody that um, are ready, you go ahead and take out your gel that's sponsored by Miss Sue, the four-in-one gel. Go ahead and take it out. Yes, yes. It's, it's the black one, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, the coffee that I drink? Oh, no, it's vodka. <laughs> it's vodka. <laughs> <laughs> My secret to creativity. I get drunk. <laughs> no, just kidding. I just, you know, I just decided to see you guys. That's my views. Yeah, yeah. You just you want sure the chrome is not sticking to right. the yeah. You don't okay. want any chrome just on checking, it. Just checking, that's all. Oh, yes. we're just at the checking. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want any chrome on it at all. Is it ready, Dustin? Yep. We're good. <laughs> all good? All good? Okay. Now, you're going to go ahead and take out your phone one and make a drop in here. Just make a little drop. Phone one gel, just dab it a little bit out. Okay. And then go ahead and take out your brush by Lee Jet. Fun brush for line work. Unknown Have a busy morning. <laughs> Chill. Yes. Can you do a tonight? Karaoke? Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Please don't make me sing. You know what? I can ruin the party with my voice. Gosh, no, I'm not gonna sing. I, I don't know why I have this clear voice. I don't know why I have this high voice. It, it, it just doesn't serve a purpose. I just always wonder what's special about it. Can I sing? No, I definitely can sing. Right? You know, one time at my friend's house, um, I was singing Whitney Houston. I always love you, and when I, I reached to that high note, my friend that kicked me out for screeching. <laughs> it's horrible. I can't sing. I can't, it, it, it will ruin the party. Trust me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fun. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, is everybody is not ready? Everybody ready? Good, good, good. Okay. Now, take out your lamp brush and pick it up, and make sure what I say when you twirl it toward it to make sure that your brush is packed with pen. So just kind of spin it lightly, spin it lightly, spin it lightly. See, it's nice and thin, nothing dripping out, but the gel is all packed in your brush. That's why you spin it. You want to pack it in. Make sure you pack it, pack it in, pack it in, pack it in. Pick it up in a little, in the head right here, just pick, pick up a little pen. And now you start to draw on the outline. Okay, now 
I personally think that this land is too smooth. I'm doing marble. I don't want smooth land. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna start from here. I'm gonna rock it a little bit. Make sure it's a little thick right here. And then when it go down, it's thin, and then and then and then maybe a little bit more thick right here. Just yeah, a little nice rocky marble line down here, down here a little thick. Yes, nice little lines. Yes. Okay, maybe maybe a little more rocky right here. Yes. That's 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 why when you do nail for um customer, and 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 they require line work on you, but if you feel nervous, you just go ahead and do a marble line, you know, shaky. <laughs> it, it, it will turn out the best. Yeah. Just go with it. Okay, start from here, right? Little thick line right here, and then and then just go down, kind of thin, 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 thin line, and then and then maybe a little thicker, maybe a little thicker, yes, thicker right here, and then when it go down, kind of. Stand it out just a little bit. Okay, a little more rocky up here, a little more rocky. It's marble, it's, it's belong to the nature. So make sure that it's nice and natural. Okay, good. Now down here, more. Start out with a thick line, and you go in thin, thin line. Maybe start, maybe end it with a thick pressure right here, yes. Okay. And then, you know, feel free to play with it around a little bit. Uh, add a little, maybe a little marble line in here. And maybe some, some line kind of drifting out a little bit. Yes. Play around, play around as you like. Personal choice, personal taste. Uh, maybe up here, add a little line right here. Yes. Okay. Okay. When you're done with it, Go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds. And you want to make sure, guys, that you cure this fully. Because if you don't cure this fully, it, it, when you rub chrome on, it'll be glittery. You don't, we don't want glitter. We want chrome. We want shiny one. We want mirror. So go ahead and cure this fully for 60 seconds. So you want it to stick to the top, not mix. Right, right. And if your personal LED lamp only have 30 seconds and you feel insecure with it because you, you don't know how the product uh, can adapt to your lamp, go ahead and double cure it. Cure two times for 30 seconds each. So make sure that it's 60 seconds. Make sure that it's dry completely. That's just up to your LED lamp. What's your personal favorite LED lamp, Yang? Um, just that's so many things. I know out there's there. so many. Out there. What 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 are you guys favorite? Uh, what, what what your favorite lamb? What kind shout of lamb you go? Shout out, shout out your favorite. Huh? Jealous. Yeah. Jealous. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, you're a guy. So daily charm have good light too. Yes. <laughs> okay. I pray. Oh, I press. Oh, I call it a press. I pray. Yes, I like I pray too. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember sponsor us. <laughs> There's so many people in land waiting to sponsor us. <laughs> Time to join into the game. <laughs> Is anybody not ready? Me. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Take your time. Take your time. Tell us when you're ready. Yes. Ready? ready. Not, ready? Yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. okay, that's fine. That's fine. Wait for it. Make sure that it's dry. Yeah, make sure cure it well, guys. Now, for the one that's ready, you go ahead and uh, put on your chrome and make sure that your finger is nice and dry. If it's sweaty, make sure you just clean it up with alcohol. Nice and dry. Take your chrome and just kind of tap it on a little bit. Tap it on, tap it on. And this chrome, remember, is by Daily Charm, bronze chrome. Just tap it on, tap it on. <laughs> tap it on, and then kind of rub it a little bit. Just rub it in. Oh, come on! 
on Sarah. Oh my God. <laughs> it's just like her. <laughs> Work it in, work it in. And that's why we do the, uh, that's why we buff out the background first, guy, because I just want the line to be chrome. I don't want anything else to be chrome. That's why we buff first. Mm -hmm. So just make sure you wrap it in. And then go ahead and brush it up. Nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. And just make sure that you swept away all the extra glitter because when you start to paint the top coat on you don't want any extra glitter on it at all or else it, it, it will just invade the area invade the mat it, it, you don't want any shimmer on it so just brush it nicely Can Make I your brushes? yes yes of course there you go. make sure that it's shimmer free after you rub on your chrome Okay, and when you're ready, go ahead and take out your gel top. Take out your gel top, sponsored by Cuba. Go ahead and take it out. Let's say hi to uh, Helen. Hi, Helen. Hi. Mm -hmm. It's Helen. Helen. Mm -hmm. Which Helen? You. From Mitsu. Oh my God, Helen! Ah! Hi, Helen. Hi. <laughs> thank you for sponsoring, yeah, Helen. Yeah. Say, say thank you to her, guys. Hold yes. On. Say ready. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. <laughs> okay. Uh, Helen is the one that from Mizu, uh, and she's the one that's us uh, sponsor of this special cool. special pen. Yeah. Oh my God, this what's make the chrome happen? Yeah. <laughs> what's made the magic happen? Thank you, Helen. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yay! See, yeah, it's so easy. Oh my God. It just step by step. There's nothing to it. So go ahead and top it up. Go ahead and top it up. Make sure it's lightly, not too harsh. You don't want uh, to ruin your chrome. So make sure that you take the top coat on and you just top it up lightly. Helen said hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your yeah, we love it. Yeah. I tell her. We need more. Yeah, next time. I definitely we try to get more. It's <laughs> never enough. It's never enough. Okay. Coat it. Cut it. Sixty second. <coughs> That's you. And um, you guys, uh, when you're done, um, this is supposed to, simply to be a finished product. So uh, if you guys are happy with everything shiny, go ahead, go ahead and uh, finish it. But if you guys want uh, maybe you know the background to be like matte, and then certain parts shiny, then you go ahead and take out your matte gel top and cover it with matte to make sure that it's all matte. But remember guys, matte is chrome enemy. It's eat chrome. So before you apply your matte on top of your chrome, make sure that it's sealed with top gel first before you put on your matte. You don't want to put matte straight on chrome. Oh, that's a big no, no. Absolutely not. Okay, so so take out. This should be done. A what? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. So uh, this should be a finished product, but if you uh, want to go a little further, you go ahead and take out your matte gel top, sponsored by Cuba. And go ahead and dust the entire surface with matte thinly, thinly. Don't be too greedy, thinly. Dust the matte over the surface. You don't want it too thick because when it's too thick, it's make it blurry. You don't want blurry, you just want matte. You just want a nice velvet coat. Nice and shiny. 
nice and thin. When you're done, go ahead and kill it for 60 seconds. And then um, make sure that you still have your lead jazz uh, art brush out. We're not done yet. And just keep on going naturally. <laughs> make sure you have your lead jazz nail brush out. And make sure that you also have a uh, gel top by Cuba out also. We're gonna trace over our favorite area with shiny things on top of the mat to create contrast. So make sure you have a few dots out, a few dots of gel top out. Okay, now when you have it out, go ahead and have your brush and just dip it in with gel top. And you go over your favorite area with, um, with top gel. Uh, you know, you can go over the whole entire marble thing or, or maybe, you know, my personal favorite. I just want to coat the, the, the chrome line. Just the chrome line. Look how it show up. Oh my God, look how it show up. Oh, it's so shiny. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Go along with the line. Go along with it. Give it a little thick, good. Let's make this nice little emboss effect. Good, good, good. Okay, trace along the chrome line, trace along it. Nicely, trace along the chrome line. Okay. Just come alive. And then if you want the whole thing to be shiny, go ahead. Go ahead and feel it into be shiny. But you know what? I don't want the marble to be shiny. It show up pretty well. I just want the chrome to be shiny. So when I'm done, go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds. And that should be the finished product of marble. Okay. So that is guys. Say goodbye for our life. Bye everybody. Bye. <laughs> just a sneak peek. A little sneak peek for what we learned today. Yes. <laughs>